Israel, Most High Christ Bless. This is 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain Amaziah. With me today, I have Soldier Adoniah. And today, we have a topic that we're going to smash another Christian scripture. We're going to smash it. John 1 11. He came unto his own, and his own believed him not. Meaning that all 12 tribes of Israel rejected Christ. That's what Christians love to say. That's why they brought in the Gentiles or the other nations, those Gentiles, right? So let's find out what does that mean? Read it, John 1 and 11. St. John chapter 1 verse 11. He came unto his own and his own received him not. So the Bible says in John chapter 1 verse 11, he came unto his own. Who is the own, his own? Who is that? We're gonna find out today. Read it again. St. John chapter one, verse 11. He came unto his own and his own received him not. And his own received him not. Let's go to Proverbs 4 and, 11, 4 and 7. Proverbs chapter four, verse seven. Proverbs chapter four, verse seven. Wisdom is the principal thing. So the Bible says, brothers and sisters, wisdom is the principal thing. That's the main thing is getting wisdom, read. Therefore get wisdom. Get wisdom, brothers and sisters. And with all thy getting, get understanding. The Bible says with all your getting, we need to get understanding. Brothers and sisters, there is a prerequisite to getting understanding, Psalms 111 and 10. What is that prerequisite? How do we understand the Bible? Let's find out. Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Aha, uh -huh. the fear of God. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Read. A good understanding. A good understanding of the Bible, brothers and sisters. Have all they that do his commandments. The Bible says in order to get a good understanding of it, you got to be doing God's commandments brothers and sisters if you're not doing God's commandments as they are not in the Christian church they're just reading and singing and clapping and dancing they're not even reading really they're taking little passages and making up their own uh, 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 um, philosophy out of it that's what Christianity is it's a philosophy based on certain scriptures that everybody can get in anybody could do any evil they want now we're all under grace now meaning we could do any evil Anybody could be accepted. It's not about the 12 tribes anymore in Christianity, right? It's about everybody, every nation, every race. Let's go back to John 1 and 11. John chapter 1, verse 11. Say John chapter 1, verse 11. He came unto his own. So he came unto his own. He came to the Israelites. Is that 12 out of all 12 tribes that he's talking about right here? That's going to reject him? Keep going. And his own received him and not. And his own received him not. Psalms chapter 118. Let's go back. Psalms 118, verse 22. Let's go. Psalms chapter 118, verse 22. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. The Bible says the stone which the builders refused. Who is that stone and who is the builders? Let's go to John 11, verse 47. The stone and the builders. Hmm. What could that be talking about? The stone that the builders refused. Hmm. Go ahead. St. John chapter 11, verse 47. Read. Then gathered the chief priests. Uh-oh. The chief priests. And the Pharisees. And who? And the Pharisees. And who? And the Pharisees. So now, the chief priests, brothers and sisters, and the Pharisees. The chief priests and the Pharisees. That's the topic. Read. A council and said, what do we? So the Pharisees and the chief priests said, what are we going to do? Go ahead. For this man doeth many... For this man, this man is Christ. This man doeth many... The Pharisees and the, and the chief priests said, Christ does many miracles. Read. Verse 48, if we let him thus alone, uh, if we Pharisees and scribes leave him alone, all men will believe on him. All 12 tribes are going to believe on Christ 
if we leave him alone. Read. And the Romans. And the so-called white man, just like set up here in America, it's the same thing. We have so-called black leaders. We have um, the United States government of Babylon. And we have the people that could be, that are sheep that could be swayed any which way. Read. And the Romans shall uh -huh. come and take away both our place and nation. So who is that stone? That stone is Christ. Who are the builders? Who was left in charge of the nation? The scribes, the Pharisees, the high priests. That's who it is. Go to Mark 8.31. Let's get a little more. Let's get a little more proof. Mark chapter 8 verse 31. Did all 12 tribes reject Christ? Let's find out. Mark chapter 8 verse 31. And he began to teach them. That he is Jesus the Christ. Read. That the Son of Man, that himself, Christ, must suffer many things. So Christ is saying, hey man, I'm going to suffer for you, man. I'm going to suffer. I'm going to be hung on a cross. My beard plucked out. Read. And be rejected of, of the elders. Uh-oh. Now it's telling you specifically who rejected Christ. Who? And be rejected of the elders. The elders. That's not all 12 tribes. And of the chief priests. That's not the whole 12 tribes. And scribes. That's not the whole 12 tribes either. So Christ has told you. Who rejected Christ? The scribes, the Pharisees, the chief priests, the elders of Israel. That's who had the influence over our people to sway the people which way they're going to go. The elders, the scribes, the Pharisees, the Sadducees. The leaders, sort of like your black leaders today, that sway you. Now you accept homosexuality. Now you accept other nations. Now you accept all kinds of filth in Babylon the Great. Why? Because of your black leaders. The leaders set over you today. It's the same thing. Read it again. St. Mark chapter 9, chapter 8, verse 31. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things uh -huh. and be rejected. And be, no, be, be uh, joined with. And be rejected. No, they're going to be accepted. Be rejected. Read. Of the elders uh -huh. and, the, and of the chief priests uh -huh. and scribes uh -huh. and be killed and after three days rise again. So that's what Christ is telling them, telling our people. Who is going to reject them? All 12? No, 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 no. The scribes, the Pharisees, the elders, the leaders of Israel. John 8, 31. John chapter 8, verse 31. John, St. John chapter 8, verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. Wait a minute, I'm confused here. Because in Christianity, when they bring up John chapter 1, verse 11, they mean every, everybody of Israel rejected Christ. Wait a minute, I'm confused. The Bible says something different. Read it again. Then said Jesus... To those Jews which believed on him. So guess what? You're learning for the first time in your life that all 12 tribes did not reject Jesus the Christ. That's what you're going to learn. That's what you're learning here. That's what we're reading out of Christ's own mouth. He's saying this to the Jews that believed on him. Read on, matter of fact. If ye continue in my word, the laws of God, then are ye my disciples indeed. So guess what? All the disciples were Israelites. That's what that just, that just said right there. Now go to Matthew 27. Let's go to Matthew. Let's get a little more. Matthew chapter 27 and I want verse 17. Matthew, St. Matthew chapter 27, verse 17. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, whom will ye that I release unto Pilate you? is the so-called white man. That was it. That was uh, over that land. The governor. Read. Read it again. Verse 17. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you? Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ. So now, here it is at a gathering. Pilate, the traditional was one man locked up in jail. I'm going to release. Who are you voting for? You want Barabbas or you're going to release Christ, right? Read on. For he knew. For Christ knew. That for envy. No, excuse me, for Pilate knew. For he knew that for envy. For jealousy. That they had delivered him. That they delivered Christ because of jealousy, envy, hatred. 
Why? We just read it in John 11. If, if we all leave Christ alone, they're going to believe on him. And the white man's going to take my seat. He's going to take my position. Nobody's going to listen to me no more. I'm not going to have any power anymore. Read on. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? Have thou nothing? Don't do nothing to that just man. Go ahead. For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. Read. But the chief priests and elders. The chief priests and the elders, brothers and sisters. All 12 tribes. But the chief priests and elders. Read. Persuaded the multitude. What did, what did they do with the multitude? Persuaded the multitude. They persuaded all 12 tribes. Read. That they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. Acts 4 and 10. Let's get a little more. Brothers and sisters, let's go a little further with this. So what are we finding out? All 12 did not reject Jesus the Christ. There were Israelites that believed on Christ. Read. Acts chapter 4 verse 10. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel. Read. That by the name that of... That means all 12. Read. That by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go to verse 1 first. I'm sorry. Read verse 1 and verse 2. Acts chapter 4 verse 1. Let's get it in context, right? We need the context. And as they spake unto the people, uh -huh. the priest and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them. There you go, the same group of people. The elders, the leaders, the Pharisees, Sadducees. Go ahead. Being grieved that they taught the people. The Pharisees and the scribes, they were grieved that the people were waking up. Remember, they were turning the world upside down. Okay? Do it with what? The gospel of Christ. Now, here come the elders now. They're grieved because they're teaching the people. They're changing the people's mindset. Read. And preach through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. Jump to verse 6. Verse 6. And, and, and Annas, the high priest. Uh-oh. Annas at this time was the high priest. And Caiaphas, and John, and Alexander, and as many as were of kindred of the high priest. Uh-huh. Pharisees. Were gathered together at Jerusalem. Jump to verse 10 now. Verse 10. Be it known unto you all that to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of So now Nazareth, we got the two, the two uh, uh, factions. Scribes and Pharisees are there. And the topic is Jesus Christ. Read. Of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here. By the way, this is Peter speaking to the scribes and Pharisees. Read. Stand here before you, you hold. Read. This is the stone which was set at naught. This is the stone which was set at naught. This is the stone that the builders refused. Read. Of this, you, is, this is... Who rejected this is who rejected Christ this is who Christ came to and they re, they received him not read of you builders which has become the head of the corner jump back to John 1 11 so now we should have the proper precepts in place to show you that John 1 11 is talking about the scribes the Pharisees the Sadducees <coughs> the elders of Israel John John chapter 1 verse 11 read he came unto his own, and his own received him not. So what is that talking about, brothers and sisters? It's talking about the scribes and Pharisees, the elders, who refused Jesus Christ. They actually got Christ put to death. And with that, Israel, we say shalom. Shalom.
make it so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew it sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sound wrong man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.